Greetings everyone, today we are going to make the leper mask from Darkest Dungeon and his sword. Let's go. The first step after looking for as many references as I could was to 3D model both of them. Working on Thought's falchion helped me for the pommel's shape and I'd recommend you check it out. The mask was roughly shaped and assembled, the reason being that it is for photoshoots in Eiling my room and not for conventions. After all of that being done, I got the models ready for my 3D printers and printed them overnight. After some time, it was finally ready. I made sure to test fit everything so then I could move on to assembling the blade right after. Everything was sanded with 80 grits with my Dremel and then layered with car filler and sanded again with 80, 120, 240 and 500 grit. Both were primed with inventive anti-rust grey primer. We'll focus on the sword for now. It was even two coats of inventive silver chrome before having a few pairs of PBO made clear coat. Although not the best, it was good enough for the base layer of the prop. I moved on the lines and it was a very satisfying process. I had to be patient and prep everything, but it is a rewarding result in the end. I used Liquitex Mars Noir acrylic paint for the whole process. After a good coat of Liquitex gloss clear coat, I then buffed the sword with Mars Noir again to turn it down a little to my liking. The handle was made with 5mm high density foam strip that I sanded with 40 grit, then painted with a mix of Liquitex acrylic paint and gave the same treatment as a whole sword. Now getting to the mask. It was fairly the same. I gave it a few coats of Liquitex cadmium yellow, clear coated it and painted the outlines. The sword and mask then got a final coat of gloss clear coat and they were done. I added a quick straps on the mask just for the video but it will be removed for display's purpose to be replaced with our usual strapping settings. I really want to add this, though not necessary for everyone. I had to build a wooden frame for my products, so this project ended up being the perfect excuse for me to get one ready. The wood is at least 50 years old and it felt really good to get rid of it up on the pile just to repurpose it. The setup was really nice to work on and it changed a lot from the usual two-point light on a black screen from our usual booth. Blasting the game soundtracks while having everything dressed was the best and I am patient to get the world cosplay done. Here are the final shots that I hope you will enjoy. You can find more on our social medias and our website. Thank you for watching this video, if you like it, you know the business down below. I'll see you Arcanists later, have a wonderful day.